Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem Rechakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. And peace and blessings to all you out there out there pushing his word with all truth and sincerity. And to all you believers out there who believe in on the gospel. And it's the brother Kwara Abad from the GMS Houston camp. I just want to go into a quick lesson, man. Um, you know, speaking on uh how is is many things in this in this world that can distract us, you know, and and really where this lesson stemmed from, you know, I was reading in that loop. And suddenly how I told uh, Martha, which is the sister of Mary, you know, I ain't, I ain't too sure what I'm going to tie to this lesson, but something that Yahweh Shai told Martha, you know, she was too worried about other things. You see, I'm going to go ahead and get that, get that here in a few, that account, but she was worried about too many things, except for the things she was supposed to be worried about was what? Hearing the Lord's word, man. <laughs> you see, hearing the Lord speak. So that's the same thing for us. You know, especially in Babylon and Great, this is the land of confusion, man. There's many things to do in Babylon, right? Many things. You can get, get the women, you know. Uh, well, now that the COVID got people on lockdown, you got bars shut down. But still, all in all, there's many things to do, man. You see, you get money, get women, drugs, right? Uh, ain't got a big stream. Just spending your time all day, every day, Netflixing and chilling. Spending your time all day, every day on 2K, on Madden, on a game. You see? And neglect the things that's truly important. And this shit, I'm speaking to myself first and foremost, which is she ever lets us, you know, should go to ourselves first, you know, before we preach to others. But hey, shit, we all exhort uh, each other and building each other up, man. You know, but um, as I was saying, you know, um, we should give, you know, that that time that we can give into the world, uh, to the ministry, man. This this something I've been harping on about myself. You know, I know this maybe I'll be on. Uh, social media a little too longer than I wanted to, you know, or I watch a little bit too much first take ESPN a little bit longer than I wanted to, you know, that we have, we striving for perfection, but we ain't gonna get it perfect. But the point is to strive for it. But uh, I'm gonna go ahead and start with this. Precept just popped in my head. It should be long, man. Just, you know, someone wanna um, go ahead and speak on, but this is Ephesians 5. And Lord willing, this lesson makes sense. This is Ephesians 5. And I'm going to start at 14. It says, Wherefore, he saith, Awake thou that sleepest, and arise from the dead, and Mashiach shall give thee light. Right? We was all asleep at one time. That's why we was called dead bodies or dry bones. Because we was, we was without this truth. In captivity without the truth. But now, that Yahweh Shai have been revealed to us, the word have been revealed to us. You see? So we are awakened out of sleep. And it says, See then... Right after being awoke, it says, See then that ye walk circumspectly, not as fools, but as wise. Right, even knowing you see, going places, if you get too crowded, commotion, like the apostle said, you don't go nowhere with crowds, you know. So, we should be circumspect and make a move, get out of that before something happen, or you know, just throwing stuff out there, you know what I mean, you see, and not just being circumspect, you know, in our state or county or city you know but yeah in, in america and across the four corners man paying it truly paying attention to what's going on that's how we understand the times we are in but it's the point it says wherefore be ye not unwise but understanding what the will of the lord is and be not drunk with wine wherein is excess but be filled with the spirit right it's a lot i, I didn't skip the whole it's a lot I'm going to go back to the point. This is the point. Verse 15. See then that you walk circumspectly, not as fools, but as wise. Here it is. 16. Redeeming the time because the days are evil. When you redeem something, you buy that back. You know, so we buying back the time that we lost. Right. That we. Before we was uh, had this truth, we was in the world living as Gentiles, being wicked. Right? Didn't seek Yahweh by Hashem. I was shy not coming into this truth. We bind back that lost time. Like I said in Baruch 4 and 28, I believe. Seek the Lord 10 times more, man. Because we got to make up for lost time. So the point is, we don't have much time because it said the days are evil. We don't have much time to bullshit. You know? We don't have much time to BS. Now, of course, we're in the flesh. We're going to do certain things. You're going to get a drink and relax. You know? You're going to go eat with your, your, your wife, your... You know, you're going to do certain things, but the point is to not be like the people in the world and be caught up and consumed with that, man. You see, caught up and consumed with that. Let's let's get that account with um, Yahweh Shai. 
and Mary real quick and Martha. This is uh, Luke 10 and I'm going to start at 38. It says, now it came to pass as they went and that he entered and that he is talking about Jehovah Shai, that he entered into a certain village and a certain woman named Martha received him into her house. Right? So Yahweh Shai went into Martha's house. It says, and she had a sister called Mary, which also sat at Yahweh Shai's feet and heard his words. Now, I want you to pay attention to that on what Mary was doing. Right? Because this is key. So let's read again on, about what Mary was doing while Yahweh Shai was in the house. It says, and she had a sister called Mary, which also sat at Yahweh Shai's feet and heard his words. So the whole time Yahweh Shai was in there, Mary was just tending unto him, sitting at his feet in obedience and respect. You see, it was the same thing, but sitting at his feet in obedience, listening to everything the law was saying. Now, the law is probably going through, you know, you know, just speaking about the scriptures or just hey, giving free wisdom, <laughs> you know. But the point is, Mary was there listening to everything the law was saying, man. Right. Remember that. So let's see what happened next. It says, and Mary heard said at Yahweh Shai's feet and heard his words but Martha right but Martha was cumbered about much serving now when you go into this word cumbered is G4049 right G4049 is perispeo in a blue letter perispeo and it says for that word cumbered to distract to be distracted driven about mentally over occupied way too busy right way too busy and over occupied so let's read it again it says but martha was cumbered about much service so martha she was over occupied about serving food she probably setting the tables moving fast putting putting a napkin here napkin out the utensils getting cups ready getting the food ready getting the yayan you see straighten up the 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 the, the room worrying about way too much stuff while your house shy giving free wisdom <laughs> you feel me why you how was I give her free wisdom? She worrying about other things that don't mean nothing. But let's read on. I won't jump the gun. It says, but Martha was cumbered about much serving and came to him and said, Lord. So she talking to Yahweh now because she mad. And came to him and said, Lord, doest thou not care that my sister have left me to serve alone? Bid her therefore that she help me. So Mary, Martha was like, man, Lord. You don't care that that marriage is sitting right here by you, ain't doing nothing. But I'm serving her over here by myself, getting everything together. Man, tell her, come help me out. Right? <laughs> Let's see what the Lord says. Says, bid her therefore that she help me. And Yahweh Shai answered and said unto her, Martha, Martha. <laughs> you know, Martha, and I, I see how I read it. You know, I'm pitching Yahweh Shai, you know, with a little smirk on his face. You know, he had to laugh or whatnot. But it says, and Yahweh Shai answered and said unto her, Martha, Martha, thou art careful and troubled about many things, but one thing is needful, and Mary have chosen that good part, which shall not be taken away from her. Come on, man. <laughs> Let's read that again. And Yahweh Shai answered and said unto her, Martha, Martha, thou art careful and troubled about too many things. Martha, you worried about too many things. You worried about setting a table. You worried about serving. You worried about this. You worried about that. It says, but one thing is needful. Only one thing matters, though, Martha. You worry about all this stuff, but only one thing truly matters. It says, but one thing is needful. Needful. Only one thing is needful. You see? Needful for what? Needful for salvation, man. These things in this world ain't going to bring us no salvation. Right? And Mary have chosen that good part, and Mary chose that. Mary chose that needful thing. And it says, which shall not be taken away from her, man, which is just truth. And how we know Mary chose the truth? Uh, what the, what your how was shy, uh, or that needful part? Because it says, going back to verse 39, and she had a sister called Mary, which also sat at your how feet and heard his words. It could have just said, sat at his feet. You no, know, but it put heard his words for a reason. Because she was hearing your how preach, man. Or speak, man. You know, your how you know, your how was wasn't sitting there talking about NFL. <laughs> You know what I mean? Or gladiator games. You know? It's bullshit. No, you know the law was giving free wisdom, man. And Mary was tuned in. 
And he told Martha, you worrying about a whole lot of stuff that don't matter. This shit gonna come and go. It's temporal, right? Because we all know the things in this world going back to modern times, everything in this world is temporal, man. But only one thing truly gonna matter. And that's what Mary chose, which is just truth, man. You see that? So that, that's the same goes for us. The same goes for us, man. This truth is most important, you know? And Lord willing, the, the Lord allow us to be more diligent as a body, man. You know, be more diligent as a body, you know, because that's something I've been praying for, to be more diligent, you know, to give a better effort, man. You know, because, shit, I'm so brothers feel, shit, sisters feel, believers feel, we all can do more. But that's all the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh because if you feel you can do more, that means you're truly striving for perfection, man. You're striving to measure up to the status of Yahweh Shai. If you feel you are already good, then you don't need a physician. You don't need the Lord. But we feel we can do better and get better. That's why we need the Lord, man. Let's get this Matthew 6. Uh, right to uh, continue on that point on what's important, man. This is Matthew 6 and 19. This is Yahweh Shai. Matthew 6 and 19. Lay not up for yourselves treasures upon earth where moth and rust do of corrupt and where thieves break through and steal right. We're not supposed to lay up our treasure. And what's the treasure? Something that's near and dear to you, man. You see? Something that you truly care about. Something that you're giving your attention and your all to, man. So we ain't supposed to focus, truly focus and uh, put our mind on these things in the world because it could come and go. You get a new car as soon as you pull off the lot, you can wreck that bitch, man. You know? You come into some money, you know, right? Some You can get that stolen from. You buy a new house and a hurricane come and flood the house. Not what? These things are temporal, man. Women, temporal. You see? All this is temporal, man. So we shouldn't lay up our mind on that. It says, But lay up for yourselves treasures in heaven where neither moth nor, moth nor rust do of corrupt and where thieves do not break through and steal. And that's why Yahweh Shai told Martha, Mary chose that what was needful and which shall not be taken away from her. Because a, a, a thief can't come up to you, put a gun to your head, say, give me your faith, nigga. <laughs> you know? Give me your give me your hope in your how about you. You can't do that. You can't do that. You should have worked out your own salvation with fear and trembling. You can't come rob me from my faith. You see? Right? The only, the only way we could lose this truth, lose the faith, is, is, is if the Lord take it from us. But that's why we give diligence to make our calling and election sure do what we can do all that we can to stand to please the lord so we can be confident that we you know he'll you know not cast us off man you see so mary had that which could not be taken away from him which was your howard shy words but finish on in verse 19 it says in verse 20 but lay up for yourselves treasures in heaven where neither moss nor rust do corrupt and where thieves do not break through and steal heavenly things wisdom knowledge how to apply the wisdom and knowledge the hope you see the things that was written before time that was written for our learning that's what we land up man for the times to come it says for where your treasure is there will your heart be also the things that you care about that's what your mind will be focused on if you if you a jordan collector you see you care about the next jordan releases your mind will be focused on when the next when the next release gonna be you see, if you care and your treasures is women, you're going to be focused on hopping on Tinder and these different date naps, going to different bars just to meet women, going to different clubs just to meet women because your mind is focused on women, man. You see, if your treasure is making money, get money, get rich or die trying, your every move, your mind will be on how to get the next dollar, man. But if our treasure is just truth, guess why our mind will be on this truth, man. That's why Martha was at Yahweh Shai's feet, man. <laughs> at his feet listening to his words. We at the Lord's feet right right now. We kissing the Lord, kissing the son, lest he be angry. Right? Now, are we literally sitting at the Lord's feet? No, we can't because he on the right-hand side of the Father in the heavens right now, man. But just like Mary, how are we at the Lord's feet? When when you read, right? Don't it say what Yahweh Shai said? Search the scriptures because... In them, you think you will have eternal life, and we seeking him. That's when he sup with us, right? Sitting there listening to him, or when you log on to YouTube and you go watch the apostles or elders or Akim videos, you listening to Yahweh Shai, man. <laughs> those Yahweh Shai speaking through those brothers. You see, we giving him the attention. We kissing the son, and we sitting at his feet listening. We giving him attention, man. Right? Just as Mary was doing. Uh, 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 uh shit, fasting, praying. You know, advice from brothers, all that goes into listening, 
uh, to Yahweh Shai, man. Getting guidance from Yahweh Shai. Your feel me? Says for where your treasure is, there will your heart be also. The light of the body is the eye. If therefore thine eye be single, thy whole body shall be full of light. Yes, yeah, so we focus on what truly matter, like like uh, Mary. Our whole body gonna be full of light. Meaning what? Our conduct in this earth gonna be example of us truly applying the scriptures, man. You see? You know, walking uprightly, man, having upright and godly conversation by our actions, man. Because what we focus on is going to show by our actions, man. You see, it says, but if thine eye be evil, thy whole body shall be full of darkness. If you worry about this world, your life going to be just as this world, especially America, which is darkness. It says, if therefore the light of that is in thee be darkness, how great is that darkness, right? If the light that is in you turn into darkness, then seven more demons go come and you will be worse off than you was before, man. But the point is we have this truth right now, you know. So, hey, while we have it, like I say, man, hey, this is a treasure. Make sure we don't lose it. But the only way to make sure we don't lose it is to give diligence, man, and to make it sure. Right? Let me see. Um, I'm going to snag this real quick. This is a rock. 23, I believe. Let me see, so rock 23. And especially because I'm about to get the scripture speaking about leisure time, man, which is free time. You see? You know? This is, uh, here you go, so rock 23 and... All right, here it is. It's, it's not so rock 23. I'll go way off. This is uh, so rock 38. So rock 38 and 24. It says, the wisdom of a learned man cometh by opportunity of leisure free time it says and he that have little business shall become wise you see oh and that's going right into Mar mary she had little business she she wasn't worried about <laughs> the center table you know she wasn't worried about things that didn't matter no she was right there listening to the words of yahweh shai so she was becoming wise you see because she made sure she did what was important in her free time huh? likewise that we should do you know it says the wisdom of a learned man cometh by opportunity of leisure. He that have little business shall become wise. Well, that's why Yahweh shot to a man. Look, you way too worried about stuff that really don't matter. Right? Continuing on, it says, How can he get wisdom that plow with the that holdeth the plow and that glorifieth in the gold that driveth oxen and is occupied in their labors and whose talk is of bullocks? Right. If you you know you a plowman and you just focus on working, how you gonna get wisdom? You ain't got enough time to get wisdom. It says, he giveth his mind to make furrows and is diligent to give the kind father. So every carpenter and workmaster that labor of night and day, and they that cut and grave seals are diligent to make great variety, right? They diligent in a worldly work. You see, they diligent in a worldly work, it says, and give themselves to counterfeit images and watch to finish a work. The smith also by the anvil and considered the iron work right uh, a blacksmith and it's going into these different occupations of different people going into how they too focus on their job but ain't worried about what's the main thing man the wisdom it says the vapor of the fire wastes of his flesh and he fighteth with the heat of the furnace the noise of the hammer and the anvil is ever in his ears too occupied too many things going on around him <laughs> right it says and his eyes look still upon the pattern of the thing that he make of what we just said his eyes was on things of this world his eyes was on his job you know now of course don't that don't mean you just go to work and say fuck that i'm I'm only, I'm only focused on the on the truth no we take care of our business we go to work provide for our families pay our bills so on and so forth we understand that but what's most important right going back to what your howard shot said right what's most important and it says so do of the potter sitting at his work and turning the wheel about with his feet who was always careful set at his work right you he focus on what he's doing his job earthly job it says it says verse 30 he fashioned the clay with his arm and bowed down his strength before his feet he applied himself to lead over and he is diligent to make clean the furnace all these trust to their hands and everyone is wise in his work right it says, without these cannot a city be inhabited, and they shall not dwell where they will, 
nor go up and down, right? Because they're too busy with their jobs and shit. It says they shall not be sought for in public council, nor sit in the high congregation. You see, I'm going to read that again. They shall not be sought for in public councils, nor sit in high, nor sit in, in the high congregation. They shall not sit on the judgment seat, right? You too busy. How you going to judge and you too busy? You see, it says they shall not sit in the judgment seat, nor understand the sentence of judgment. They cannot declare justice and judgment, and they shall not be found where parables are spoken, right? Where parables are spoken, man. It says, and they shall not be found where parables are spoken, but they will maintain the state of the world. Maintain the state of the world. They will be occupied and wise in things of the world, man. You see, it says, but they will maintain the state of the world and all their desire is in the work of their craft. They desire, they treasure is in the things on earth. They could make some wasting all your time to make this a powder and a blacksmith making all wasting all their time making, you see, a creation. Somebody can steal it like a break, but you wasted all your time. You ain't had time to find out parables. You ain't had time to do this and do that. But let's continue going on. Sirach 39 and 1. But he that giveth his mind to the law of the Most High and is occupied in the meditation thereof will seek out the wisdom of the ancient and become occupied in prophecy. And that's what Mary was doing with Jehoshua. She was occupied in the words of the Lord. You feel me? It says he will keep the sayings of the renowned men and where a subtle parables are, he will be there also. He will seek out the secrets of grave sentences and be conversing in dark parables, man. You know, and that's the point. So, hey, Mary, she, she was listening to the law, be conversing in, in, in the word. You know, and uh, again, I'm sure the law wasn't talking about the Roman world and what, what Rome had going on, you know. But the law was talking about. So the point I'm getting at law wasn't is making sense. Law wasn't is that fine. But, hey, as Yahweh Shai told Mary, you feel me? She, uh, Martha, his her sister Mary was doing the right thing by hearing his words, man. Everything else ain't in, ain't truly important, you know. That's why we should lay out for ourselves treasures in heaven, man. You know, but uh, man, with that, you know, I'm gonna go ahead and end it because I don't want to ramble on, you know, just acting like I got more precepts because that's <laughs> really it. Lord Williams, lesson was that a fine. I know I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh by Shimi Yahweh Shah by Shimon Chakodash. And with that, Shalom.